this project came about because we've been doing for a long, long time at Soul Gestures projects with young people, inspiring them to shine by engaging in their local community. What happened last year during the COVID lockdown was there was this enormous need for people to do things that were kind to others in their suburbs. We thought this is actually really important, that if people are doing kind things, it actually made them feel like they could be in control of their anxiety and their stress. And we thought, wouldn't this be an amazing thing if we could teach this to young people so that by being kind, they're actually looking after their own mental health as well. He gave me this beautiful box of um, lip cream and some uh, candles, some beautiful smelling things and a beautiful card with all these lovely words in it. And one of the students even said how much she appreciated the work that I'd been doing and the kindness that I showed to the girls. It just makes me feel warm and fuzzy every time I, uh, I look at it. The thing that I enjoyed the most about the Kindness Challenge is doing kind things for other people because it made me feel good inside. Probably the biggest one is awareness. So awareness that the girls have when they're being kind, how they're feeling in their bodies, and awareness of how the person that they're being kind to is feeling as well. Um, so that to me has been um, amazing to watch the girls find that awareness of being kind and just you know finding, finding the practice in their everyday lives. When you're kind to someone, you get this hormone in your brain called dopamine and it makes you feel really warm and fuzzy inside. It's that moment when you see the light bulb go off. Uh, you start talking to them about how their body changes, how their heart starts racing, how their cheeks start flushing when they're kind and you see this light bulb go off and they change. Their bodies change, their postures changes, they start smiling and every time we've done a kindness challenge we see that, we see them change forever and just today, one of the Santa Maria girls came up and said, this kindness challenge has changed her life because she used to feel anxious walking home from school and now she looks up and she smiles and she feels warm inside. That's what we're trying to achieve. We can carry this challenge forward by giving someone a little compliment every day. Even if it's just saying your hair looks nice, it will still make a big difference.